Democrats. The top Democrat in the Minnesota House says that she won't apologize for calling out her male colleagues who she says are silencing women lawmakers, especially women of color. A DFL minority leader, Melissa Hortman, today filed a letter of protest with the House and told a state capitol rally of mostly women that she's not going to take it anymore. Pat Kessler's at the capitol right now. Pat. Hi, Frank. Yeah, Representative Hortman used a barnyard expletive to describe how she says women are treated here at the Capitol, and she says she's not sorry for bringing it up. Mostly women showed up for a Capitol rally supporting Democratic leader Hortman, who Republicans are accusing of sexism and racism for comments about white male colleagues. Part of why what I said touched a nerve is so many of us have had that experience of being ignored. And let's not just let it go anymore. Let's call bull when we see it. Hortman is under fire for breaking House protocol a couple of weeks ago as lawmakers drifted away during emotional speeches by women of color. I hate to break up the 100% white male card game in the retiring room. but I Hortman is formally rejecting the Republican demand for an apology. The House Speaker accusing her of trying to divide the state. We've got a lot of work to do, and we've got a lot of work to do to, to, on behalf of all Minnesotans, of every race, of every gender, of every sex. We're, we're, you know, we've got a lot of work to do, and we're committed to doing that work. I, I, this is a, a sideshow. Rally protesters carried signs supporting Hortman who told us women are frustrated by a lifetime of being ignored. This is a common experience that, that women have of uh, being talked over, being interrupted, uh, having somebody else articulate an idea after you've articulated it, and then all of a sudden it sounds like a good idea. This is a very common experience. Well, Representative Horton told us she does not want the Minnesota legislature to silence black and brown voices. She says she's trying to raise awareness about all of this. And, Frank, she certainly did that today. Yeah, making a lot of news, no doubt. All right. Uh, yep. Pat, live at the Capitol. Thank you.